My last fight I fought for the Australian title, which the, the current Australian champion held it. Um, I beat him, so which makes me the Australian champion. But in terms of world rankings, the, the guy that I'm facing right now from Australia, he's ranked the highest in Australia, so he's got the number one position, um, and I've, I've got the number two position. So after this fight, I'll get a ranking of top five in the world in the IBF, which is, which at any given point of time, you can you can have a um, knock on the door saying, would you like to fight for a world title? <laughs> Truly appreciate everyone that's involved in my career, um, my family, uh, my dad. Even though he's far away, you know he. He's a true inspiration to me and he's, he's always helps me out and always tells me um, about different experiences that, that me and him can, um, that I can relate to. During his career, I was, I was present at all times during school holidays and during the times I was available. I'd come here um, in this very ring, in this very gym, I would do the skipping with him, do the push-ups, um, punch the bag, um, watch him spar and just go through the whole process and then do abs and just go through the whole process of, of being with him during during training camp and um, I started off with soccer I played soccer for for a few years and then I decided to um, to play to do boxing give not not give boxing a go but to, to start training to start start doing a bit of boxing training and then you know my my uncle was my trainer he he started with me from from the day I was from the day I put the gloves on. And it was maybe a year, no, eight months in, and he said, you know what, I think, I think you're ready for a fight. You know, you sparred with Tim before? Uh, no, no, this is my first time. Yeah, what are you expecting? It's fit and strong. Yeah? Yeah, gonna be on the toes, man. How was that, work. Hard that was work. Good. Yeah. This is where the magic happens. Ten rounds in a, on a Wednesday morning, no better way to start the day. It goes quick. When you're having fun, time goes quick, doesn't it? I've never seen him. I appreciate my grandpa so much. Um, he's got everything written down. He writes everything, what I do for training, how much I weigh. Um, and he's just truly very, very supportive of me. Um, helps me out with everything. He's got all my clothes packed and he's just always, always there. Hasn't missed the training. Um, always calling me, telling me what I'm doing. And sometimes it could, get an, could be annoying, but you know, I, I, I know it's only for the good. Ah! <laughs> Prefer getting punched in the face than getting my my hair from the sticky tape. More painful from the sticky tape. Imagine how girls do it. So who's in the gym this morning? We have the Sydney Kings coming today to do a boxing session with Mark Gambin, Tim Zhu, and I. So we're just gonna put them through their paces and see what they got. Uh, who, are you looking forward to meeting any of the Kings in particular? Yeah, Andrew Bogut. Um, he played for the uh, Golden State Warriors recently for the NBA Finals. And now he's here with Sydney Kings. So it'll be good to meet him. He's seven foot tall. I'm five foot seven. So it'll be interesting. <laughs>
been with Tim for? Uh, I was there when Timmy was born. Yeah. But in terms of boxing, uh, we met up just prior to him turning pro. So it's about two and a half years. So you worked with Tim's father as well? Yeah, 16 years. Oh, it started off Costa and I as good mates. Um, I live in Newcastle and he came up to Newcastle very, very early, uh, not long after he'd arrived in Australia, to do a, a charity thing for the Police Boys Club and I came to Sydney to pick him up. And at that stage he had no English or anything like that, so it was... Um, we just struck it off as friends and, stay, and remained friends and right through and Timmy's uh, got some of his dad's attributes for sure um, but Tim is his own fighter uh, Kostya came out of a different world and a different background and a massive amateur career at world amateur champion over 300 fights Timmy had only 30 amateur fights um, so that, there was a difference in terms of, of that um, but there's things Tim does in the ring that I just think gosh that's Kostya all over again but he definitely has his own style and his own style of fighter um, but every so often he just surprises me with something that's just genetically his father in the ring, which is nice to see. So the Dwight Ritchie fight coming up in three weeks is a super important fight, a very tough fight. We don't doubt Dwight's ability. We don't doubt the fact that he's ranked up there where he is for a reason. Um, Timmy looks at all of the, his opponents with respect um, and it, it'll be a very difficult fight. It'll be a tough fight. We are very confident that Tim will win with his skills. Uh, I don't have too much problem there at all, but it's another a big stepping stone. And from there, we called out a fight plan uh, a few months back, the four big names in Australian boxing in our weight categories. So we're up to number two. So we just keep on moving forward. How far do you think Tim can go? I think he can go all the way, I really do. Um, having said that, there's no, we, we, don't, we don't think about that just yet because we're quite happy in the zone we're in. That'll come in time, and when it does, we'll be ready for it. But it's not a race. Boxing is not a race and it's not a game. Uh, it's very serious business and I have to be conscious of uh, health, I have to be conscious of the future for him, all those things. And uh, my job is just to get him to that point um, in a timely manner and make sure that when a world, op world championship opportunity comes, it's not that we get, just get to take it, we get to win it. We need to be ready to win it. The Russian mentality, they keep pushing, pushing, pushing because um, they try and make you into like a robot and you're, you, you have to, there's a, one, one guy actually said, by the time Igor finishes training with you, you're going to look the devil in the eye and, say, and, and fight him, you know, so that's, that's the type of training that I go through to, to be physical, to be strong and to, to not let anyone even think of trying to beat me. Keep it simple. Old school boxing. That's what the greats did. That's where the greats are. They're, they're at the top. All these new technology stuff. Oh, that's, that's a bunch of rubbish. Rocket style. That's it. Ready, set, go! Effort on effort for the last one. Go on, you can beat it. Just go on, come on, you can beat it. Well, come on. on. With this, it's building up speed because they're getting closer now to the fight, it's only about three weeks away, so we don't want to work too much on power, more on agility, speed, keep him fresh. And uh, all this stuff here is um, simple stuff, just running, little ladder work, sprints, yeah, really simple stuff. Everyone counts, everyone counts. Get ready for the last one. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. You're going to war, and to be, to be ready for, 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 for such a thing, uh, you've got to be mentally very strong and um, you know it's, it's not just going out there and trying to hurt your opponent but it's how you're going to do it and not getting hit at the same time so it's, there's, there's a lot involved in this, in, this, in this sport. It's only the start of a journey that can, that's, that's, you know, that's a few, maybe another 10 more years and you know it's, 
it's going to be some good times, some bad times, but um, I know once we reach the top, it's going to be at one hell of a ride and it's going to be something that we're all going to uh, turn back to in our life one day and say, wow, what a, what a time that was to be alive.